So we welcome, warmly welcome you, even though it's not so warm, but we warmly welcome you to this uh, 2019 Couples Retreat. Our objective is to share with you the biblical principles on how we can, you can be a good husband and a good wives and what God wants to be in our marriage in the different topics that will be here. Kaya tayo mayroong specific command si God na i-account pa tanya yung area of respect. And you know what is respect? This is the top weakness of our husband. If you disrespect him, then you are destroying him already. Our job is not to compete how good they are, but to complete them. Many times you think that our married life is 50-50. Do your part, I'll do my part. If you don't do your part, I will not do my part. Uh -uh. The, our, our counsel is, you give, you love your wife, you love your spouse 100% without expecting anything in return. In other words, you have to what? You, you have to understand that when you love your wife and there's no response, continue loving her anyway. Why rejoice that you are the husband, the wife of your husband? Because your husband now is your God's best for you. And you also is God's best for him. And the strength of a woman is gauge as to how submissive you are to your husband. Kasi hindi madali yan eh. You need humility. If we see how empty we are if we see how bankrupt we are in God's love and we experience His love then we will be able to love our spouse even in the midst of their imperfection we don't love our spouse because they are good we don't love them because they are uh, okay but we love them because it is our promise to God looking back the years when you got married looking back the years when you made your vow Remember, you are giving your vow to God. You are not just promising to your wife because the parents are there. Because the parents of your wife or your husband are listening. It is not just because of the pastor or the priest that you will just tell that you love your spouse. It is your commitment to God. Humility, this gentleness, this patience, this bearing with, with one another is so difficult, it is so hard, in fact, it is so impossible to, to sustain this if it's not done in love. But if we are in love, unconditionally in love with our spouses, this humility, gentleness, patience, bearing with one another becomes so easy already. It's so easy because you're in love. Solemnly recommit to solemnly recommit before God, before God and man to unconditionally love, love and respect my ability and to submit to you as my spiritual leader. I 
by God's grace, I promise to continue to share my life with you through joy and sorrow, faithfulness and gentleness, through joy and sorrow, in well-being and in poor health, till death do us part.